After vetoing three Republican-packed tax credit bills on Friday, the governor is now siding with Republicans on one issue. Yeah, he approved an increase in aid to families that utilize child care. Fox 11's Emily Matesic takes a closer look. Governor Evers visited an Oshkosh daycare facility on Monday afternoon, hours after signing a bill that would increase Wisconsin's child care tax credit. The governor not only touting the importance of centers like this when it comes to the state's economy, but also making sure help is available for working families. Under the bill, the state child care tax credit expands to 100% of the claimant's federal child care tax credit, up from only 50%. And the amount of maximum eligible expenses under the state credit would grow from $3,000 to $10,000 for one child. Families with two or more kids can claim up to $20,000, an increase of more than ten dollars Obviously, that helps parents uh, uh, afford child care, but at the end of the day, we have to, we have to help the operators of child care. The child care tax credit comes as the governor rejected three other tax credit bills. The bills vetoed by the governor would have expanded the state's second or middle class income tax bracket, increased the marriage credit, and increased income exemptions for retirees. We were fearful that we're going to have to repay some money to the federal government, but also it was going to take just a huge amount of money that is needed for child care, is needed for our schools and a number of other areas that we have to be concerned about. While Republicans are pleased the governor agrees with them and signed the child care tax credit, they feel more needs to be done to get Wisconsinites their hard-earned money back. By not approving tax breaks for retirees, married couples, and middle-class families, Republicans are concerned about the kind of message that sends to people who want to work and live in Wisconsin for generations to come. We need to do everything we possibly can to retain our workforce in our state. We're at the crisis level where, where you know, it's an uh, issue across the board, whether it's here at Adegini County or down in the other parts of the 55th. It is absolutely critical that we, we are retaining as many people as we can here. While the governor said he's not concerned his vetoes will lead to people leaving Wisconsin, state Republicans say they'll continue to work to get Wisconsinites the money they worked for and deserve. In Northeast Wisconsin, Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. Everything they can to make sure that kids and parents have the best opportunity possible. Obviously, I'm very concerned about child care and making sure that um, uh, we do uh, help the industry. It is an industry. It's all across the state of Wisconsin. Make sure that they have the resources they can, so that they can stay in stay in stay in operation, and um, and frankly, allow parents to work in the workforce. So it's important important work, and really um, uh, critical. This has just been a wonderful place to visit. You talked about the tax credit that you signed today. Yeah, tax tax credit is really important. Obviously, that helps parents uh, uh, afford child care, but at the end of the day, the, the, we, have to, we have to help the operators of child care. Uh, can't, uh, just a, and it's not a small thing, it's, it's a $79 million worth of ch uh, tax credits, but at the end of the day, we have to make sure that there's a child care operation for people to go to, and a number of, a number of places that will eventually um, close down because they don't have the resources, uh, it's going to really impact our economy. So we feel confident that at some point in time we'll convince the legislature of that and get it done. Yeah, I guess I, you know, more aid to the two centers like this you oh, feel like it's coming. But oh, oh, well, we, we have to. I mean, obviously, obviously there's some differences of opinion on that, but at the end of the day, if we don't, the uh, it's going to be a traumatic uh, impact on our economy. If people, if places like this close down, um, uh, we will we will hurt financially in the state. You signed um, the child tax credit today, right. but you vetoed three other tax credits. Can you talk about yeah. why this one was beneficial and the others were not? Well, the others were going to take us, frankly, and, and essentially put us in a place where a we would, as a state, be going going broke after a period of time, and and. And B, it was uh, it was just it was going to force us likely to return all sorts of federal money. Federal money came here during the pandemic to not lower taxes. In fact, it's less. We cannot use it for that. So um, uh, we were f we were fearful that we're going to have to repay some money to the federal government. But also, it was going to take 
this a huge amount of money that is needed for child care, is needed for our schools, and a number of other areas that we have to be concerned about. Are you concerned that you're making Wisconsin not attractive to people who worked here, the, the retirees who worked here, who maybe wanted to stay here, but because they're... We've, we've lowered our taxes by $1.5 billion per year, or will be $1.5 billion per year. So we've worked hard to lower taxes, and, and primarily for uh, middle to low income folks. And so that fits the retiree piece. No, I, I don't think we're gonna be losing people. We, our tax rate is similar to other places in the, in the country.